The People's Liberation Army has become the latest casualty of the surging pandemic in China. China's third aircraft carrier, which was set to be launched this month, is believed to have succumbed to the COVID onslaught. Hi and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am your host Atul Mishra. Let's begin. China's Green Warren Navy is undergoing a drastic modernization. By 2030, the PLA Navy aspires to control the global seas. This is clearly reflected in PLA's appetite for aircraft carriers. The Chinese Navy currently has two operational carriers and it is building the third one. Some experts suggest that China aims to build at least 10 such carriers by 2049 to achieve its global naval domination. But much to the CCP's chagrin the PLA navy's inflated ambitions have now hit a roadblock covid-19 is ravaging the country in an unprecedented manner and this is believed to have killed china's plans to build its third aircraft carrier the third aircraft carrier was anticipated to be launched on april 23rd of this year the type 003 aircraft carrier has been under construction at Xiangen shipyard on Shanghai's Changqing Island since 2017 state owned china state ship building corporation or cssc which was entrusted with the task of building the ship has failed to fulfill its commitment eurasian times has reported that the cssc couldn't build the third aircraft carrier because several of its resources were deployed to help the government's efforts against covid-19 the chinese government was faced with two difficult choices either get the aircraft carrier built as per the scheduled timeline or curb the uncontrolled spread of the deadly plague hence instead of china's third aircraft carrier the china state shipbuilding corporation was busy constructing hospitals for covid patients cssc built three temporary hospitals on changqing island with more than 4400 beds in less than a week the company's involvement in ccp's covid relief efforts thus rendered cssc understaffed and overburdened which resulted in the aircraft carrier project getting delayed and derailed Moreover the pandemic has also throttled supplies of important elements that are required in building the ship one source was quoted by the south china morning post as saying that the plan faces delay as the rampant pandemic in shanghai has delayed the transport of some key components and not just the third aircraft carrier the pla navy's plan to build two supply ships is also set to face hurdles But the problems being faced by China in building its third aircraft carrier are just the tip of the iceberg. The second aircraft carrier which has already been built by the Chinese ship builder is also facing some serious problems. The ship has still not reached the combat readiness stage and officials seem to have no explanation for that. You see, the pandemic has caught China off guard. It was so underprepared that it had to rely on its ship builder companies to build hospitals for covid patients china's financial hub shanghai has already succumbed to the fourth and the most powerful wave of pandemic and now its navy is looking at an excruciating death of its global ambitions in the eye all in all china's economy as well as military might is plummeting at a pace like never seen before a virus that china unleashed on the world has now come back to haunt its own homeland the irony is striking